Welcome back to the Pitch Queen Show. Today, we are talking about overcoming self-doubt and being more confident. Do you ever doubt yourself, right? Like self-doubt is part of being human. I'm just sorry to say, but it's something that we all experience. And it's also essential to believe in ourselves, to have lots of sales, to help more people and have a thriving, profitable business. But you can have all the great ideas on the planet or like really big dreams of success, but if you are not 100% behind yourself, nothing else is gonna work and you're gonna just stay stuck where you're at. So no matter what it is, a sales call, a business meeting, or something in your personal life, I am going to share with you today in this video four tips to really help self-doubt and start feeling more confident because when you're more confident, you will have more sales. That's just how it works. So make sure to stay to the end too because I'm gonna share something really simple that you can do every day to keep your self-doubt in check. So it's a little daily thing, all right? returners welcome back and for your newbies welcome to the pitch queen show this is where I share my best tips on what I've learned what I teach and what it takes to really increase your revenue decrease maybe the amount of time you work have good life balance and be ultimately a successful entrepreneur make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here you'll get notified of all of our new videos that come out right now about once every other week okay so let's go into tip number one Number one today, you really wanna get clear on what you want. It's super duper important to know exactly what you want because when you don't know exactly what you want, you can actually get really stuck. This is where self-doubt kicks in. And you might not ever get anywhere. Have you ever had any friends that like just keep sitting on the couch all the time and they don't do anything with their life? Or, you know, maybe they're feeling overwhelmed by what to do next. What to do next is a big one of self-doubt, but this can affect how you feel about yourself. But once you really get clear on what you really want, it's easy to break down into baby steps so you can feel more confident in taking this on, okay? I'm gonna share a story because self-doubt and confidence actually stems from taking action, okay? So my work husband, his name is Ross. I've talked about him quite a bit here and on my podcast, Success Unfiltered. He wanted to transition. He's been in a certain industry for 30 years and now he's getting into sales, working with corporations doing corporate sales trainings, and the confidence isn't there yet, right? So the self-doubt kicks in, like, well, what about my past? Are they gonna look at my past and bring that into my future and they're not gonna wanna work with me? All of those thoughts are self-doubt kicking in. But if Ross, not if, he took action, he went to events, he went on LinkedIn, he started reaching out to companies and he saw that he got some traction. When you see you got some traction, that's where the self-doubt now gets the back seat, that's over there, and now you can move forward, okay? I also interviewed Mel Robbins, if you wanna check that out, on Success Unfiltered, which is my podcast. If you go to iTunes, search Mel Robbins, we spoke for about 45 minutes on all the self-doubt that she had, on what it took to create you know, her book, The Five Second Rule, to take action. And when you take action, that's what builds confidence, all right? So keep that in mind. Now, I wanna get into tip number two, because this is also a biggie. Don't compare yourself to anyone else except yourself. It is so easy to get caught up in the comparison trap. I've gotten myself almost there, but I stopped myself because you start doubting yourself because you aren't where maybe they are at, right? You see someone else ahead of you and you're like, well, how come I'm not there? But the truth is we're all on our own journey and you really can't compare yours to someone else's. You have to compare you to where maybe you were at six months ago. Is the self-doubt taking over where you can't even take action and you're not moving forward? So only compare your results to yourself. It's also really important to remember that what you see on the surface is never the full story, especially if it's someone with a lot of influence, income or success. So much of what we see is simply like their highlight reel, right? Of someone's experience and we often never see their struggles or self-doubt that they've had to overcome to get to where they're at. Prime example is social media, right? If you think about it, Success Unfiltered, my podcast, was to extract people's truths 
to share the real raw stories about what they had to overcome to take action in order to combat that self-doubt and to build confidence. But most people don't have conversations like that in the open, but on my podcast we do, so make sure to listen to a couple episodes. Social media, it only shows you the fancy stuff, the real stuff. I mean, mine, I kind of show you a lot of it, but I'm not gonna show you like, maybe what challenge I had throughout the day, right? Like you guys probably don't wanna hear about that, but I share with you my business struggles here. I share with you all my mistakes that I had from my previous companies. I shared, uh, you know, even last week, I got told no five times on different sales calls. Like I will share that because each moment, it's an opportunity for you to listen and learn from me to reduce your mistakes, but don't compare yourself to me. So that's what I'm talking about in tip number two. Your journey is very different than my journey. If I were to compare myself to all the other big podcasters out there, I would be miserable because I don't really know what's going on with their podcast. It's just a facade. It just looks like they're doing great, but what if in the deep inside they're not, right? So why bother even comparing myself to them? So tip number two to really overcoming self-doubt and building that confidence is literally quit comparing yourself to other people. Tip number three, don't be so hard on yourself. This is a hard one for me, okay? And I know I talk about managing your thoughts a lot and the self-talk in your head because that is the foundation to increasing your sales is reducing that, but this is so important. If you're constantly talking down to yourself or telling yourself that you can't do it or you're not good enough or you don't know where to start or some person isn't calling you back, I'm talking like all these things that my work husband Ross is going through or that, you know, Joe Blow is better or that you're going to have a really hard time pushing through when things get tough and there inevitably will be bumps in the road, okay? Newsflash, let me tell you, bumps in the road is just part of the entrepreneurship path. But if you want to be successful in anything, you really need to become aware of the thoughts and the things that you're saying to yourself and telling yourself. It's like a universal law. If you just Google it, your actual thoughts become your reality, right? And when you start shifting to a more positive perspective, productive thinking, you're gonna make your way of turning these things around a little bit and self-doubt into self-confidence, right? So there's a really great podcast from my friend. His name is Sean Croxton. He has a uh, podcast that's every day. It's called the Quote of the Day Show. So if you go on iTunes, Quote of the Day Show, it's a great resource for building confidence, for literally changing your thoughts. Because if you're listening to something, that means your thoughts can't be doing anything. So someone else's voice will take over and there's only positive stuff over there. So I like to listen to it in the morning, getting ready, brushing my teeth, putting makeup on, like whatever it is. It's a great way to start your day. In addition to that, like with my work husband, his name's Ross. We're never gonna ever be married, but it's just funny. And I've been calling him that for a year. But with him, like it's super duper important that the thoughts he has, he shifts because if he keeps telling himself that, guess what? The reality of his results will start to match it. So it's really important to acknowledge the thought, put it away and come up with a different one. Affirmations really help with that. Like I said, listen to the quote a day show, find some positive, motivating, different podcasts to listen to, but you really need to start shifting the thoughts. But again, confidence stems from action. So if you don't do anything, then nothing's gonna change. Tip number four, find an accountability partner. This finally really is the real truth and the best way to overcome self-doubt is not only simply take action, but if you struggle with this yourself, get an accountability partner that that you can turn to when you feel self-doubt is taking over. So like, let me just share a story real quick. Ross last week called me He's like, do you have a time to talk? You know, the guy at whatever corporation that he was trying to get a new client from, he wasn't calling him back. He wasn't really doing anything. He just kind of went MIA. And I said, you know what? Why don't we think about ways that you can reach out to him that are unique? What is something that you can start to put your curriculum together as if you're gonna work with him so you're already assuming the sale and start planning it? Because if you don't use it with him, guess what? You're gonna use it in the future. So I always like to think about how can you take a proactive approach even if the self-doubt is in your head. So his trusted person was me. So find an accountability person. This could be a trusted friend, family member, 
or a coach or mentor. You might even need to hire a coach for this. Whatever it is, try something. Find a friend, family member, coach, mentor. You might even wanna hire someone if self-doubt keeps coming up because that will reduce the amount of opportunity of people you could help, which, what? hinders your sales. Outside people can provide you perspective and give you that extra push to take action when you need it. My accountant from my class, so I had a class that just finished up recently. I had a student, his name is David, an accountant CPA. He actually reached out for me for support outside of the class because he said, Michelle, I have a client. I'm about to offer an $8,200 tax plan for him to save a ton of money. He's going to be able to put his kids through school, but like they're never going to pay me this, Michelle. And I said, well, who told you that? Because the self-doubt was the fear that was coming up, right? That no one would ever pay me $8,200. So we just talked about it because I'm an outside person. I'm not his family. I'm not his friend. I'm actually a, a coach to him and he respected me. And we just went through a lot of mindset stuff. And guess what? He got $8,200, a brand new client, that is super happy, they came with a check, he got paid on the spot. And this can happen to you too. So that reliable coach, mentor, friend, whatever, it could pay off, I promise, okay? And like I mentioned earlier, a real big bonus tip is use affirmations. Affirmations won't solve all your problems, okay? But they can be very powerful as a success tool if you use them in the right way. You have to make them your own, of course. Don't do anything generic. But it's really about something that motivates you, that inspires you. So something that I say is I'm gracefully resilient, inspiring myself and others to take action right now. If you take action now, I know that your confidence will increase. So when I'm working with my accountants in my small groups, that's what I specifically do, I know that if they take action, they do their homework, they're gonna get results. And that's what you can too. So uh, that's my affirmation, I say it a lot. You can create one for yourself. Again, mine is, I am gracefully resilient, inspiring myself and others to take a stand for what they want right now. Because guess what, tomorrow isn't guaranteed. Let me tell you, that's news, it happens all the time. You're not guaranteed tomorrow, so be grateful for what you have today. Take action, bust through that self-doubt, and get confident because confidence just comes from getting action. And use your affirmations throughout the day, even before a client meeting, before a sales call, whatever that is. If you are having trouble sticking to it, add reminders in your phone. Put sticky notes around your house. Maybe on the mirror when you're brushing your teeth twice a day. Put them in your office, put them by your computer. Put it in your car where you'd like put your cell phone. See it anywhere until it becomes a habit, right? Habits take 30 to 60 days, depending on who you follow. I believe habits take a little bit longer, but let's just go with a month of doing that. And another thing you can do when you need to get a boost is to take stock of all of your accomplishments. So in my phone, I actually have an acknowledgement folder. I have a text or an email screenshot that I took from David who sold an $8,200 tax plan telling me that his confidence is through the roof. But I have a folder on my phone with all of these images, okay? And I look at it because you wanna take an inventory of all the positive stuff that you're doing because you don't wanna focus on the negative here, you really wanna focus on the positive. So, I know you can't share your photos of your accomplishments and acknowledgements, but what you can do is share your affirmation. So put it in the comments below, what is your affirmation? Again, mine is I am gracefully resilient, inspiring myself and you to take a stand for what you want today, because tomorrow's not guaranteed. And let me give you a little bit of another bonus, bonus, bonus tip you can do some meditations. I actually had a custom meditation done for me about four months ago. I found this very supportive and really creating self-confidence versus seeing self-doubt. It makes you go like into a space for a few minutes and get calm and just like reconnect. So I have one that I do in the morning and at nighttime. And if you want some more actionable steps to stop that self-doubt, I created a free guide, Believing in Yourself for Real This Time, that you can get for free. The link is in the description. So just click on the link in the description. It'll take you over there, put your email in, and we'll send it to you to your inbox totally for free. And if you like this video, hit that like button, share it with a friend, Again, I really appreciate the support and sharing 
and love that you've been giving me. It's, you know, this just helps more people and the more people I help, the happier I am, right? Because as my affirmation says, I am gracefully resilient, inspiring myself and others to take a stand for what you want right now. And if there's a topic you wanna learn more about, make sure to put in the comments below because I do read all the comments or just pop over and email to me at hello at thepitchqueen.com, okay? Hello at thepitchqueen.com. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you in the next video.